Hi, thanks for watching this little video. I'm Lisa from Made Room Rose, and I hope to give you some insights on how I do my watercolor cards. First off, when I am making cards, I like to have a stack of of unfinished warm up, and and then I'll cut them down to size to the size that I want them to be, and then I'll attach it to a card base. I'll mat it to a card stock and then I'll mat it and then to a card base. So so that's kind of this the essentials of it. Um gluing the paper is a little bit tricky. Um I like using two op three options and I'll show you them. The first option I always go to is my ATG gun, advanced tape color. It's a it's a a tape runner, so it's sticky on both sides, and um I use a lot. Like I'll go, I'll just not slather it on, but use it more than just a little bit, um, just so it really stays on. You want it to stay on. So the more glue, so for example, if I were to glue this, I one, two, three, four, five, six, and that would that would hold it. And I like this. You can use other little tape runners, um, but if you're if you're looking to get into making cards, I would recommend this. This is like thirty dollars, and then the refills are only six five dollars, but you get they come in a box like this and you get two refills. So for $6 and usually you can get a coupon for it to be half off at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, wherever you go. Um, so then it's, it's pretty inexpensive, but the tape runner itself is about 30 bucks, but it's worth every penny. I've had this for years and they still make the refills. So I don't think it's going anywhere. Perfect. All right. The other option is um, mounting tape. And I know a lot of people that love mounting tape. I like mounting tape if it's a like, for um, if I'm not using a ton, like I wouldn't use it for this whole thing because that would be a lot of mounting tape and it was like $4 for, for not like a yard or two. Like it's not very much, it's really spindy. So I like to use it for little bits. Like if I were to cut off just a little bit of a, of a watercolor picture and I wanted that to be the main focus, then I would use that. But for a whole panel like this, I would not. It. but that's an option and it's a good option um but my third option and i have been known it's not my favorite thing to do but i do it often enough that i should mention it is my hot glue gun there's nothing wrong with using a hot glue gun for cards and no it's not acid free but if depending on you the person you know is going to keep it then i wouldn't use it but if you're not sure if a person's going to keep that card forever Use a hot glue gun, you'll be fine. It sticks well to the paper, and um, I don't ever have problems with it. I will say that you want to make sure that um, it it stays. You got to be fast. The glue wants to set fast on paper, so you got to be fast with it. But it works well. Um, so once you have your panel painted and cut to size, and on your little card base that you like, and I just cut my card bases off of, um, these are A2, so it's half a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And I like to get my cardstock at Staples. Almost all of my cardstocks, all my card bases are, are from Staples from the, from their, I don't know, 90 pound cardstock package. And they work wonders. It, it's perfect for, for cards. Um, so stamping. For stamping, I like to use an embossing ink pad so it's clear. And, and then, so you would stamp your stamp. I'll show you, um, let's say I like this stamp. So this stamp set is from Penny Black and it's the heartfelt things, but it also has some birthday sentiments and some, um, sympathy sentiments. So it's really a good, it's a really good sentiment, uh, to have a stamp set to have. You're just starting out, I would say just use an acrylic block. You can get these blocks really inexpensive at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, um, but your local scrap bookstore would also sell them. So then I would get it inked, stamp my, stamp my paper, and then sprinkle it on with white or black embossing powder. And that will give it, that just makes it really um, thick. For example, I made this panel with brush before I knew what I wanted to put on the panel. And so, because I knew that the ink, it would be hard for the ink to just, to just be so 
clear and vivid like this. I I stamped it. I stamped this stamp with black embossing powder, and then it has this nice crisp, clear look to it. And that's what you're gonna want to do. And so that is that. And um, as far as sentiments go, I have a bunch of fun sentiments that work on cards. You know, like every stamp companies come out with sentiments like every other month it seems. So you're never you're never alone thinking, oh, I wish I had a stamp for that because there's a stamp for that. I can almost guarantee you that. But here are the stamps that I have enjoyed personally in my in my watercolors cards. Uh, I already told you about the Heartfelt Thanks, and that I'll show you the package. Heartfelt Thanks by Penny Black. Penny Black makes some really great sentiments, and I just love their um, their their style. Their they're just nice. The only thing I wish about them is that I wish that they had that it was rubber. But for the price and for for the many sentiments as you get, this was seventeen dollars for the whole pack. That was pretty worth it. That will keep me busy. This has kept me from not needing many sentiments for like six months until they came out with some more new sentiments like these, like <laughs> this line, the, their faith line. Um, hope shines through. And this is from Penny Black. This was um, this is pretty new. This is from 2017. And then this is the Faith from 2017. So they're both very new sentiments. And then I have um, Forever and Always. And this one is from 2016. And this is, I consider this more of a Valentine's Day wedding anniversary sentiment pack. So I'll use it for weddings, anniversaries, and, and Valentine's. Um, but they're nice to have this one. Um, you have a bunch of friend and faith sentiments. And then this one, I, my friend, the reason why I got these two, um, my friend challenged me to do some Christian-based watercolor cards. And I thought, okay. <laughs> but then I kept looking at them, couldn't find very many um, scripture verses for, um, for those. So... I came up, I found these two, which I really like. Um, and then Tailored Expressions also makes really good sentiments. And I love their sentiments. I have a couple in different themes that I just absolutely love. Um, and they're big. They're big enough. That's the other thing with cards You for sentiments. Watercolor, you want to keep the watercolor um, as the art. And usually the sentiment is the focal point, but you don't want it to out... You want the you want to marry the watercolor with the sentiment, and so usually a simple sentiment will suffice because the watercolor is so beautiful. So you don't want to like try and overdo it. The one, even this, like I love the watercolor, and I didn't want a huge stamp, but just this little faint of the bird. I don't know if you can see it, the bird right here with the little, um, and then a simple sentiment, but it still works, and I really enjoy the the challenge of trying to find that perfect stamp with the watercolor background. And again, all these were just play. I played with the, with colors here. I played with colors here with brush strokes and wet into wet. Um, this was brush o wet into wet. And again, my brush strokes with different um, water um, variables. So you can really use your warm ups for lots of things with cards. You just have to be a bit creative and think, well, how can I make this work? And and usually if you have a couple of sets of sentiments, like I would say just pick this one, the heartfelt stamp, and then maybe a faith one or a, a they have seasonal ones. They have like a Mother's Day one. So find find a couple that you know you could use a couple of times or more than a couple of times because you want to get your money's worth out. Um, and then get it, but really my two favorite brands for sentiment stamps are Tailored Expressions, and they're local here in Iowa, which I'm from Iowa. They actually live right down the street, and tomorrow they have their um, release party for uh, Easter and spring, so I'm super excited to see what they have. Um, I mean, and then Penny Black is nationally known, uh, but you can go to tailoredexpressions.com and order sentiments. They're, they have a ton. They're perfect for sentiments. Um, so anyways, I hope this gives you a little bit of insight onto how I made 
watercolor cards. As you can tell, they're pretty flat. I did not make them stand up a bit more, so I did not use any of my matching tape for any of this. I did just use my tape gun, tape glider. I call it my tape gun because that's really what I feel like it is, but anyways, they work and it's fun. Um, and you guys, I have stacks of these that are just waiting to be completed, but I'm waiting for the right stamp or the right moment, I guess, to, to complete them. So anyways, maybe next video I'll show you all my stacks of unfinished panels so you <laughs> get a real idea of how, how it works in my creative space. So anyways, thanks for taking the time to watch and I happy crafting you guys.